What is happening guys? Todd here. Back in the early 80s, I had a real love-hate relationship with the original Atari joystick. Basically, I loved hating it. They were lightweight, cheap made, and prone to failure. Even some of the third-party knockoffs like the gym stick were just as bad. In my eyes, they were garbage controllers. Hyperkin has taken a stab at their own version of the Atari joystick with a Trooper Premium Edition. Is it better, worse, or merely more of the same? Let's dive in and find out. The first thing I noticed when taking the Trooper out of the box was just how heavy this controller feels. I like the extra weight as it helps make the controller feel substantial in your hand and not like a cheap knockoff. Dropping it on the scale, the Trooper weighs in at about 7.5 ounces or nearly half a pound. We'll open up this joystick later on to see where all this weight comes from. Taking a closer look at the design, it's obvious that it's very closely modeled after the original Atari joystick with a couple minor changes. First of those changes is the slanted front corners. This is a design accent that we've seen in previous Hyperkin controllers such as the Cadet. This makes the stick very comfortable to hold in your hand as it doesn't cut into your palms. Another change from the original Atari controller is the twin fire buttons. Both buttons are electrically the same button, but it makes it convenient for left or right handed players. And instead of a shorter 4 or 6 foot cord, you get this massive 10 foot long cable to reach to your console or retro computer. As I mentioned before, this controller feels very solid like it's well built. So let's open it up and take a look at how it's built and where the weight comes from. To open up the controller, flip it over and remove the two visible screws. Then remove the two rubber feet at the front of the stick and remove the screws under them. Now the top portion of the stick lifts off. Looking inside, we can see this is a simple rubber dome membrane style interface for the stick and both buttons. It's not too different from what you would see in a typical gamepad, but definitely no micro switches to be found anywhere. Popping up the PCB, we see where all the weight comes from. A pair of metal weights are held into place with screws. While this might seem like cheating, it's a pretty common practice to add more weight and therefore stability is increased. One other thing I noticed is that the top portion of the stick comes unscrewed from the rest of the stick mechanism. I guess this allows for easy replacement of the stick itself if it gets damaged. I haven't noticed it coming unscrewed during gameplay, thankfully. So, the big question is, how does the controller feel overall? The buttons themselves feel great. They basically work and feel just like how a button on a typical gamepad feels as the design of the membrane is the exact same. They're just larger. As far as the stick goes, it has a good travel without feeling overly sloppy. Think of it as a giant D-pad with a large stick protruding from it since that's essentially what it is. For the money, I think the Trooper is a great value. I want to clarify one thing though. This video is about the Trooper Premium Controller. Hyperkin's Retron 77 Atari 2600 clone console includes an earlier version of the Trooper and from what I understand, it isn't nearly as nice. So this is something to keep in mind. This video is specific to the retail premium Trooper controller. Inevitably, it would be hard to review this controller and not mention alternatives like the mini Monster Joystick that I reviewed in 2018. I have no doubt that the stick for Monster Joysticks is better built and it'll last longer. However, the Trooper costs a fraction of the cost. As a matter of fact, the retail price of the Trooper is only 16 US dollars. My only complaint is about the possible longevity of the sticker on top of the controller. While I like the graphics on it, I'm not sure how long it will last. So for about the cost of a large pizza, you get a comfortable controller with a long cord, better build quality than anything Atari ever produced, and it's suitable for left and right handed use. While you aren't buying a fully micro switched joystick, you also aren't paying a lot of money for it. The Trooper Premium is simply a better version of the iconic Atari joystick of the 1980s. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I wouldn't mind hearing about your favorite target style joysticks down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.